My name's Philip Chatfield and I'm the Seven Valley Railway stonemason. A lot of the stone on the infrastructure buildings on the Seven Valley date from the 1860s and in places it hasn't worn very well so it's a good idea to swap those stones out with new stonework that is in keeping and in fact can enhance the buildings so it preserves and creates a lovely heritage feel. That's what I'm bit by bit uh, chipping away at. At Bewdley Station, I've done quite a lot of work there, taking out large bay windows and replacing them with new stonework. Very, very big projects, very fiddly and um, exacting. And I think it's, it's enhanced the buildings no end because previously those stone details have just been falling apart. We're gradually working our way around Bewdley Station, renewing it because that's an important station which the public arrive at, the big car park, and the presenting elevations are, are important to get right. For each individual job, you've got to assess what type of stone you need to use, uh, where it can be obtained from, and also the dimensions of it. You're working with a, a material that's been formed millions of years ago. So you're always mindful of time. You, you find evidence of leaves or fossils or pebbles. So you're, you're finding for the first time things no one's seen since 300 million years ago. It's heavy stuff, so you've got to make sure your workspace is good for taking the weights and keep all your tools sharp in good order and just work away with that slow rhythm as masons like myself have been doing for thousands of years. At Arley Station, that's where I was originally invited to tackle some of the issues there. When you look at the photographs of Arley Station around about 1900, it's a much more grand affair of a building and the chimney stack for the station master's office was topped off with this uh, lovely capstone with moulding and a very tall octagonal chimney. And Chris Bond, the excellent infrastructure manager, obtained a period chimney pot. So I, I was then tasked to acquire and carve a new capstone. So that was the first thing I did on the line. A nice touch a couple of years ago was to reinstate a floral chimney pot on the extension that was put on in 1904 by the station master then George Batchelor because he had a, a large family and he's also a very very keen gardener won lots of prizes sadly the original was destroyed in 2001 I think that the chimney pot reflects his love of things floral and so the detail has returned I do a lot of work on monastic buildings, you know, ecclesiastical work, statues, life-size figures, monuments to commemorate those who gave their lives in the war. The stuff I've done has been wide and varied. Even though working on railways, I'm conscious of working on future projects, for instance, a life-size statue of the Virgin Mary to go into a church in Barcelona. So I'm thinking about that and what materials to work on. I think you've got to be able to see in your head the shape that you're looking for. If you can't see it in your head, you don't really know what you're doing. So it's getting the vision. I, I love working on Seven Valley Railway, particularly because working in the different stations, say Bewdley, has a different atmosphere to, say, working at Arley or Bridge North or even here at Hampton Lode. I just love the little communities that occupy these little enclaves. You feel a sense of belonging to the line, and, and I sort of pop up here and there, you know, like a moving bush. Where's he going to be now? Um, I love that. 